guys, what is up? It is Sonic Gaming here, and today I'm going to be talking about the final roster or how to get into the final roster in Smite. Basically, put it straightforward, the latest video I posted was about Essential Gaming. If you don't know what Essential Gaming is, in case you're new to my channel, pretty much it's a clan I made in Smite, and I want this to go competitive, pretty much. We've recently just got so many members is that I've finally realized that I need to make a final roster for the competitive team. So, I'm basically going to give you guys these uh, few recommendations for you to get into the roster. Now, just by the way, if you do think that you might not have one of these recommendations, don't worry. This doesn't mean that you're not going to be in the team. It just means that I might not pick you as well compared to someone who does have a set of these skills. So, for Howard, do not let your hopes go down because, heck, I might even pick you just because I'm kind. Anyway, let's jump straight into this. Pretty much number one, pretty much you got to cooperate with your team. Pretty much what I mean by this is that you must be willing to get like a, you must be willing to work well with your team. It's might, depending on what game mode you play, normally we'll be playing Conquest, but yeah. Anyway, let's take Conquest for example because that's mostly game mode we're going to be playing. Pretty much that's a 5v5 3 lane map. Now, five gods, five characters, and you need a lot of teamwork. Pretty much, you can't just be a one-trick pony and think about yourself. If you knew that one of your enemy, like an enemy god, went from your lane, you must tell them, yo, god might be left in your lane, be careful. And so they know to be on edge in case they're going to go for a gank. You must communicate well. And if you can't, then unfortunately, you're not going to get a pick as well as someone who does have it. Because guess what? Believe it or not, Smite is a teamworking game, and I feel like we'll do a lot better if we can work as a team. Anyway, number two. Number two is basically you must have a specific role. Pretty much what I mean by this is that you must have found out your role by now. The reason for this is so I can make a balanced, good team without like getting all mixed up. Pretty much, I do understand that you can have three mages, one assassin and one guardian, right? Or well, actually no, that's scrap math. Four mages and one guardian, I get that, you can do that, I understand. However, it won't work as well if we had, like, if we had, this, like, if we had, um, like, a guardian, a hunter, an assassin, and let's say two mages. That would work better than my four mages and one guardian group, because, guess what, believe it or not, the guardians and the one mage counts as magical, all they need to do is build magic protection. But the, but the roles I've said within the second team, it has variety. It pretty much allows us to have a multiple connections and it allows us to have many like endless possibilities of how we can strategize and believe it or not you might not work well with a certain type of role but you might work extremely well with another role anyway yeah <laughs> number three is that um no harsh language i guess pretty much if you've realized so, like one of your teammates have fed uh, another god don't go say oh kill yourself faggot or you or just install the game because guess what you're not gonna help. You're not helping him, and you're guess what? You're not helping us as a team. What you're doing is just you're just decreasing morale and being an also dick. So pretty much, if you see someone's going wrong, help them, guide them. If you're more experienced than the other person in the group, help them. Tell them how to improve. Like, yo, dude, you're feeling quite a bit. I see you got no protection items. Maybe buy some physical defense. Pretty much, just help them, and in the end, he'll become a better player, and we'll become a better group. Anyway, number four, I think, or is it number five? I don't know. I'm, I'm completely forgot the order of this. <laughs> but anyway, number five or four, I can't remember which, but pretty much, uh, yeah, you must be willing to put a lot of practice in the game. Pretty much around, let's say, 32 hours. Now, this might seem a bit of a long stretch, but yeah, a bit of a long stretch. Depends, I might, I might even cut it down, maybe to like 30 minutes to an hour. But pretty much every day, you must be willing to put 30, 30 minutes to like, let's say an hour or two with the group. You must be willing to do that, and if you can't, then, yeah. I've not figured out the time of when we should start and when we should finish on each day, because schools and stuff, I still have to go to school. So, yeah, so anyway, yeah. You must be willing to put that dedication and the teamwork and the everything you must be putting everything in in your utter all and uh, number six you've got to have experience pretty much i'm not gonna pick you if you've just recently got the game the reason for this is because i want to hopefully when we're all level 13 all got the requirements to go ranked i want to go ranked and go competitive if i bring a someone that's really well first we won't be able to play ranked but let's say we're just playing a normal conquest game player v player 
I'm not going to bring anyone who's completely new because they won't know any mechanics. They won't know how to not feed. They don't. They don't know how to like work well. Like it just wouldn't work well. So pretty much you gotta have at least some sort of experience within the game or not. But yeah. Anyway, those are the requirements. Now, like I have said, these. If you don't have uh, much of these requirements. Don't worry, because these will uh, not determine you not being on the team. It's just something to help you to give you a little edge between the teams. Anyway, yeah. Also, if you haven't already, people who's in essential gaming, just subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna read. I'm gonna post the final roster around. Let me have a look because I'm not planned a date, which I should. Uh, I know what I when I want to do it. I just come on what day it is. Hang on, getting up a calendar. Okay. Bring up a challenger. It's second of February. So that is basically one, two, three, four, five, six. Six to seven days. By the way, I'm counting it on the way I'm recording. It's like 26th of January. So that's the date when I'm recording. So yeah, you have six to six or seven days to I guess figure out your role if you haven't or just get prepared. Then I'll be making the final roster. And yeah, also, um, a little notice, also the reason you should subscribe to this channel is because I'm basically going to be doing a few live streams of essential gaming and stuff like that. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Guys, if you're doing people who are essential gaming, let the odds be in your favour. Yes, I pull out some Hunger Games. Also, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you do have snipes for the PS4 and you are in a European um, continent, Hit me up with like a comment saying, yo, can I join the clan if you're interested, because we will be, we will be accepting members into the clan. But anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is Sun Gaming, and peace.